Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 4 Golden. And uh, last time we beat Rize's dungeon. So, uh, here we go. We get to continue on with the story. You have the day off from school today. All you can do for now is wait for Rize's recovery. What should you do today? You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program. Yeah, let's check that out. Myth-like sword. So herbal pills and myth-like sword. Purifying salt. Sagaki rice, purifying salt. I think we're going to go with the sword. Uh, that should be a weapon for you. Awesome. So we've accomplished a number of quests. Hold on, let's make sure. Okay, there's nothing here to do. Yep, okay. We've completed a number of quests, but the thing is is that I don't remember which quest givers they are. Some of them are in school, so we'll probably have to wait till tomorrow to do them. Oh yeah, we need to plant some more cabbages. I think that'll be the next crop we do. Um, we need those for a quest, if you guys don't remember. Let's go ahead and do a register. Do we need to... Nope, we don't have any skill cards to give. And... Let's see, is there anything else? I don't think so. We got all the books. And I believe that we have bought our sodas. Oh, this is one of the guys. I wish my husband could have seen me, so we got we got her the grand horn. He would have laughed up a lung. I know it. Yep, those are our horns, he'd say. Thank you very much, young man. Take this as my thanks. 18,000 yen. That's, that's nothing to scoff at, actually. That's a decent amount of money right there. Oh, yeah, this is one thing that I wanted to do. We'll just go and sell all of the stuff that we got. Now, I think that I got enough magic cloths in the bathhouse in order to get that uh, accessory that I was talking about. Let's see if that's true. If I do, I'll show you that accessory and show you why it's so important. Once again, magic cloths can be gotten from the phantom enemies that are in the bathhouse, but they're very rare. They usually only show up when the fish summon them, but they also can show up on like the seventh floor randomly, but they seem to be pretty rare. Okay, five iron. Zwei Hunter. Type 98 Gunto. Aruzu Yufan. Fan. <laughs> Tessib. I know I'm butchering all the names. You'll, you'll have to forgive me. Akasami Fan. Hana Chirasato. Knife Proof Coat. Battle Camisole. Miori Shirt. Hard Bolero. Wolf Tunic. Night Scale. So many. Action Vest. Disinfectant, Bravery Vessel, Cool Beads, Land Badge, Hey, Magic Cloth, this is the one. Mage's Mark. This one right here. I'm gonna, ooh, okay. Okay, let's show you this. Okay, Mage's Mark. You can see that it's pretty damn expensive. Restores 3 SP at the start of the wearer's turn in battle. 
I'm going to buy one of these. Um, because we can kind of give that to different characters as we go around. We can get one for each character, honestly, but I'm going to start with just one. No, we don't need to equip it to him right now. Uh, you has Persona that have Invigorate, so most likely I'm going to give this to one of the other party members. Um, and we'll probably trade it around with the party members um, to get them SP back. Huge, huge help. So if you can get um, some 10 of those magic cloths, you'll be able to do this. So the first time I went into uh, Kanji's dungeon, I got five of them. And then when I went into Rize's dungeon and I did some farming in uh, the bathhouse, I went and got the other five. So I went up all 11 floors twice, and that was able to get me the five that I needed. So that may give you an idea of how much time it might take you. It does take some time, it really does. But you know, if, if you find this to be worth it, it's pretty valuable, honestly. And it's definitely worth the 25,000 yen. Really awesome item. We're not gonna worry about a, uh, getting weapons for a little while. Um, not until we're ready to go into the next dungeon. Let's go see if there are any other quest givers sitting around that we need to turn in. Some of them are at the school, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow. But what about you? Coal. I think we did get coal. Yeah, 15,000 yen. Just a little token of my gratitude. Don't let your grandparents see you with all this cash, though. Alright, nice. Getting some money. I don't think there were any quest covers in the shrine, but we'll check. Okay, we'll check Samagawa. And then we'll check Juness. Um, we did do the key quest, which I think is this old person up here. Is this an old lady? Yep. That idol girl named Rize, is it true she's the girl from Maruku Tofu? Well, well, who knew something like that would come out of that little shop? I hear all kinds of things about her. You gave her the old key. Ah, oh, I've got to be honest with you, though. I've already opened it. You know, my daughter? Well, I spoke to her, and we found the key together. Well, then what did you ask me to... I went, I went out of my way to get this thing for you, and you didn't even need it. But the fact that you were looking for it was quite flattering, young man. And so I couldn't tell that we, and so I couldn't tell you that we opened it already. I'm sorry. It is true that you found a key for me, though. I should give you something for your troubles. That's not how keys work, old lady. I know. How would you like a secret lesson? Don't worry, it's free of charge. Oh, this brings back fond memories. Now listen up, if you want to get close to a girl, the first thing to know is that you can't ruffle her feathers. You have to keep telling her exactly what it is she wants to hear. That's a surefire way to win her heart. And, the, and when the timing is just right, that's when you confess your love to her. But that'll end in a rejection if you haven't caught her eye before that. You'll be stuck being friends forever if you can't win her attention somehow. Basically, it all comes down to your actions that'll sway them from being lovers or just plain friends. Well, that's about all I can tell you. Good luck. You listen to the old woman's secret lesson. Your knowledge has greatly increased. Your courage has greatly increased. So yeah. The knowledge she gave us wasn't very useful, to be honest with you. But we got some stat up, so can't really complain. What about you? Kon yeah, it was definitely at the Konishi Liquor Store. I don't think there are any other places I could get it. So is this the real Konishi Liquor Store? What are you looking for? I mean, let's go to the real Konishi Liquor Store because we went to the one inside of the uh, TV world and the only item we found was a weapon for uh, Yosuke. So let's just really quickly go and see if we can look at uh, the liquor store up north. See if there's something we can get for that guy. I don't remember what that quest is, so we'll check this out. The store right up here is the liquor store. It's a liquor store. Cases of various alcohols are stacked on top of each other. Hmm. I wonder if it's one of the drinks here. We've always been getting the tap soda, but maybe I'll try getting some of the other ones. 
Okay, we'll check Juness real quickly. Nope, this is the cabbage lady, and we don't have enough cabbages. Okay. So, we need to do, uh, I think we're doing, uh, Marie, actually. So just really quickly, I'm gonna do a new save. And let's see if I have a Aeon Persona. Doesn't look like I do. That's uh, not surprising, honestly. The Aeon Personas are kind of rare, it seems like. Yeah, I guess I should just buy it. So Narcissus. And listen to Marie's request. Huh? Hey, will you take me somewhere? It seems Marie wants to go out. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Um... Hey, can I see a school? You're going to one, right? I want to go see what that's like. You decided to take Marie to school. I mean, it is a Sunday, but uh, I'm sure this will work out. You decided to take Marie to school with you. On a Sunday. Hey. You go to school every day, right? You don't get tired of it? Um, it's fun. Is that so? Fun? Oh, do they have a TV there? Can you watch Star Scandals? Though she misunderstands, Marie seems to be enjoying this. What's up? Yo, partner, what you doing? Oh, hey, Marie-chan. It's been a while, hasn't it? I heard that you've been with Chie and Yukiko, so uh, you're showing her around, huh? What are you guys doing? Have on a stroll? I'm showing her the school. Huh? You are? You tell Yosuke how Marie wants to see the school. Oh, I get it. Marie-chan uh, goes to a different school after all, huh? Uh, still, what could be special about our school? Oh well. All right, I'll join you. Allow me to welcome you to Yasugami High. <laughs> Can I go inside? No problem. There's some committee meeting today, so the gate should be open. <laughs> I mean, we can always say that we're showing you around the school. Let's do it. Castle Gummy High, second floor hall. And here's our classroom. <laughs> Pretty retro, huh? I guess you could call it cozy. It's so big. Huh? It is? Well, there's a lot of empty land here. I guess the school's pretty big if you count the fields and yards and stuff. What about where you are, Marie-chan? Is it cramped since it's in the city? Me? It's tiny. I mean, it's a single room. For reals? One room? Seriously? Is it, uh, some kind of advanced placement class or something? I don't know. It's small, it's dark. It almost never says anything. Nobody ever says anything, it's boring. The nose? Is that, uh, what you call your teacher? Hmm. A teacher who doesn't talk, isn't that neglecting your job? Hey. I want to see more. There's still more to see, right? It seems Marie is very interested in your school. She's as strange as she was last time. <laughs> then again, everybody I've gotten to know recently has been pretty much on the odd side, so I'm used to it. How rude. You have to go on my high rooftop. And this is where we hang out. <laughs> what do you think? Isn't this a great place to spend your youth? Youth? How does someone spend youth? Give me an example. A a an example? Hmm. Well, you know, um... Building friendships, sharing your concerns, confiding in each other, stuff like that. It's kind of awkward to have to put it into words. 
I don't get it. Do green and black do that too? Of course. Green and black what? being Chie and Yugiko. Why do you need to spend youth? Don't you have anything better to do? You want me to say more? Uh, well, I mean, it's fun. Not being in superficial relationships, being with people who know the real you. The real you. Being with people like that helps keep from losing sight of who I am, you know? So I can face myself. Uh, this is embarrassing. I can't say anymore. Sorry. Face yourself. Wondering about your true self? No, I said it before, there's no truth. Marie is, in, is deep in thought. Let's just end this here. Please forget I said anything. So, um, I know. Uh, you haven't seen the library yet, right? We don't have all day, so let's get going. your true self? It seems Marie is wondering about the meaning of what Yosuke said. You feel like you understand Marie a bit more now. Let's go. See ya. After showing Marie around the school with Yosuke, you escort Marie back to the Velvet Room. Okay, tonight we are going to go and hang out with Adachi. Now, Adachi is the Jester Arcana, so I need to make sure that I have a persona of the Jester Arcana. Okay, so what do we have? We have Magician, Fool, which isn't useful because uh, we don't need that. We've got two Magicians, huh? Temperance, Lovers, Strength. Justice, Sun, and Aeon. Okay, we have three open slots. Let's go get a Jester. Hey, Yuki goes out here too. Whoops. Okay, we've only got the one. 6,000 yen. Gone, just like that. What's it got to do? It's got to do what oh. you got to do. Ah, what a coincidence. What are you doing now so late? It's dangerous, you know. Go home. Adachi seems to be on his way home from work. <laughs> Let's do it. Shopping district. Uh, I knew it. Stores out here close too early. I got up work early, so I thought I'd make something, but then I got lazy. This is bad. What should I do? I have tons of nimono at home. Why, Toru-chan, how is work? Are you still working hard? <laughs> oh, hi, yeah, I just got off. Have you had dinner yet? You're young, you need to eat up. Would you like to come to my house? I'm making your favorite, Nimono. Uh, oh, uh, today I've uh, got a... That's right, I promised this kid I'd eat dinner with him. He is my boss's nephew, so I can't say no. <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh, that's too bad. Well, next time then. Good night. <sighs> hey, why are you saying no to good, free food, Adachi? She really sucks away my will to live. Can you imagine how awkward dinner would be? Just me and her? I don't really like her Nimono anyway. Lotus Root is too tough. Oh, uh, sorry for using you like that. You were a big help. Um, yeah, why don't you come over for real? Huh? At dojima -san's? Well, isn't that a generous offer? Adachi is looking at you in surprise. But... Dojima-san's still at work, right? Does that mean it'll be just us? Isn't that weird? Nah, I'm a good cook. Really? 
You're seriously inviting me over? You don't think it'd be awkward? Only if you make it awkward, Adachi. He's looking at you like you're a rare breed. It's called a friend, dude. Maybe you should get one. Well, I am interested to see what your life lot like as a cook. When I was in high school, I never gave cooking a single thought. What did you do instead? I just studied and studied. It was a pretty good school where your grades really mattered. I don't mind though. You get back as much as you put in. Everyone knows that. My parents didn't care what else I did as long as my grades were good too. But that works out when you're a student. So you don't enjoy yourself now? <laughs> ah, I don't know. Grown-ups have a lot on their plates. Adachi gives a tired smile. But I guess lately things have been fun. It's nice to know there's something I'm good at. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Adachi seems to be working hard on solving the case. You feel like you know Adachi a bit more. Rank 3. Wow, for some reason I thought we were a little further than that. Cool, we're only rank 3. Alright. The Toru Adachi social link has reached level 3. Oh, we were uh, talking about dinner. Sorry, not today. Maybe next time. See ya. I'll just stop by some place on my way back. You make sure to hurry home. You parted ways with Adachi and went home. Don't get goddamn carried away just because some scatterbrain idol is back in town. That's Rize for all you out of the loop morons. All she does are variety shows and silly commercials. What's the damn point of running your mouths about some half-wit whose only talent is appearing on shows for idiots? This class seems to be full of students without their own identities, isn't that right? Why the hell do you all look so upset? Stand your ass up, Narukami. Answer this. What is identity? Individuality. You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, I see you've already done the reading, smartass. Anyway, that's right. Identity is individuality. And individuality is the feeling that you are authentic and genuine. Those with identity would never take a liking to idols like that. You immature kids gain your identity by mimicking the idols you love. But I doubt that those who imitate others have any true identity of their own. You gave the correct answer. And King Moron is still an ass. Knowledge has increased. And always will be. So popular. Everyone wants to hang out with me. It was just like real high school. It's a lie. I was a nerd. All right, let's make a quick save. Okay, today we are going to accept the next hermit quest. And if you guys remember, the hermit arcana is the fox at the shrine. So let's go ahead and head in. Oh, actually, what am I doing? Let's uh, turn in some quests and then we will head to the shrine. I have no idea where all the quest givers are. Okay, anybody on the roof? I don't think so. So I think it's uh, two people over in the practice building. What about you? You look like you have a new one. Did you know there used to be a cleaning club at this school? I'm the last surviving member of that club. I mean, everyone else has graduated already. I will this year. Even though the club will be gone, I'm looking for someone to continue my passion. You seem promising. Would you be interesting, interested in succeeding me? Sure. And I'd like you to get the equipment that shows you are indeed worthy of taking on our passion for cleanliness. Don't worry, it's nothing difficult. I want you to bring a tool and clothing that is fitting for cleaning. I'd like you to bring these back to me. Um, sure. Something fit for cleaning a floor. Ask someone near the workshop in the practice building. 
What you wear doesn't have to be anything special, just remember that they'll get dirty while you're working, right? Maybe you can find what you need at a clothing store. Alright. Alright, let's check the roof real quick. I don't think there's any quests up there, but... Nope. Okay, practice building. Hmm, I don't think it would be very relaxing to move to a place you're not used to and have never been to before. Or maybe did she used to live somewhere around here years ago? She couldn't have, could she? You gave him the Ritz wire. Thank you. Now that I have this, I can finally finish my new radio. Please, take this. I don't know if it's enough to really thank you, but... Received Olympic tape. I'm gonna have a look at what that is. You're amazing. If anything else comes up, I'll be sure to ask for your help. What is Olympic tape? You received this as a gift. Raises parties evasion and hit rate. Okay, I mean, I guess. You hand her the fitting board. Wow, how'd you find one this big? Really, thank you so much. Now I can finally study at my desk again. Um, here, this is for you. It's not much, but obtained royal jelly times five. Oh, she's got a new one, too. Ah, <sighs> I've been thinking about my dad lately. Uh, what about? Well, he got glue stuck to that board you gave me a little while back. A little while back meaning, like, literally just now? Okay. <laughs> but this time, the model is still attached. Yeah, that's right, it's just standing there. I bet he did that on purpose. Imagine having a model stuck to your desk. Only me, I swear. I wonder if there's some kind of glue-repelling reflecting board out there? I might know something. Huh? Something like that actually exists? Oh, I get it. It's from the city, huh? Well, if you can get any, will you tell me? I'll definitely repay the favor, I promise. I'm guessing that's from, uh... I bet a board from a table in a place that gets really hot and humid would do the trick. Okay, so that one we're supposed to get at the bathhouse. I was a little late on accepting that last quest, so we're like a quest behind, it looks like. Okay. Is that everything? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's go and accept that hermit quest. jump to the shrine. You know what? Actually, I also need to go and get sodas today. It's Monday. I'm going to get two of these other sodas just in case it's uh, for that quest. Whatever, I'll take it. That uh, took the place of the other two sodas I bought, so. We can go to the shrine. Not that any of you wanted me to hurry along to the shrine, because, I mean, clearly getting the sodas is your favorite part of the entire run. I know it is. Also catching bugs.
two Yasuo Locusts. Okay. Accept the Ima's request. He made sure that there was no one around and called for the fox. The fox brought you an email with a wish written on it. It's written in thin, ladylike handwriting. I want to clear my mind of snacks. I want to hate them. It seems the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the email on its behalf. Could it be thinking that if wishes are fulfilled, then more money will be put into the offertory box? If you, f if you fulfill the wish on the email, your relationship with the fox may grow stronger. Accept the request? You bet. The fox seems happy. Okay. So normally here you would run around town and talk to everybody until you found the person that uh, this is about. But I kind of know the general area that they're at. And I believe it's you. Don't bother me. I'm channeling my mental energy in order to control my urges. So that that's interesting. I forgot that that's a thing. So one of the people with the Ema request will have the quest icon above their head, which helps you kind of pick them out. So you don't have to talk to everybody. I'm channeling my mental energy in order to control my urges. I mustn't want snacks. They'll just make me fat. Shiroku's store is my enemy. Remember all that dieting and exercise? Do you want to... Do you want to have to do all that again? I must shun the snacks. Ah, oh, snacks. I want to eat snacks. I wonder if there's any bad-tasting snacks. Actually, it doesn't have to be bad. Maybe if it were just odd-tasting, I would stop thinking about them. I want to discuss myself from the... I want to distance myself from the Shiroku snacks. Perhaps she's the one who wrote the email request the Fox showed you. It seems she's looking for a snack that isn't like the snacks that she's currently craving. Who do we know that likes food? Who do we know that likes food? Oh, hey, look, it's Shie. What's up, Yukun? Come to think of it, there was a woman looking for a snack that doesn't taste like a snack. Chie may know something. Ask Chie. A snack that doesn't taste like a snack? Huh, I have no idea. Why snacks taste like snacks? Do you want some? You obtained meat gum from Chie? You should try giving this to the woman. Yeah, meat gum does... That sounds disgusting. I think we may have found what we needed. Speaking of snacks, you ever get hungry inside the TV? Maybe I should bring something with me next time. We got three of those, though. I have to see what those do. Meat gum. A pack of gum Chie gave you restores 25 HP to an hour. Alright then. All right, let's go back and talk to this woman. What's this smell? It smells juicy, raw, and yet sweet. Is this the rubber meat gum? Gulp. Hey, can I have a bit? I want to try it. Yes, give her some. You gave her the one meat gum. What is this? It's chewy meat. This is also considered a snack? The world of snacks is indeed vast and infinite. Well, that was certainly different and odd. When I think snack, I'll definitely recall this taste now. Thank you. Now I won't linger in front of the Shiroku store anymore. She's cured. Oh yes, I need to visit the shrine. I made a wish to hate snacks there. I'll use my snack money as an offering. It seems like the monetary offerings will increase. The fox will be happy about this. Glad to help. Glad to help, lady. Meat gum. Apparently meat gum was the answer. Okay, now, since that didn't take any time, oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, since that didn't take any time, we are going to go and hang out with uh, Yosuke, who is of the Magician Arcana, which I already know I have two. Oh my gosh. Can I please go to the right place? What is wrong with me? Okay. 
Um, let's see, he's gonna be... At the hallway. Yeah, okay. Yo! Hey, you. Got a minute? I've got an offer I think you might be interested in. Yosuke seems desperate. Juness Grocery Department. You agreed to help with restocking after Yosuke begged you. Welcome! One and all, choice salmon, 59 yen a slice, just as advertised. Holy shit, is that for real? 59 yen a slice. How much is a slice of salmon? That's incredibly cheap. Salmon, where I'm at, is really expensive because uh, we're landlocked. Um, which I don't know why that would be a factor. It's freshwater fish. I don't know what I'm saying. It's not sea fish. It's not seawater fish. Um, but yeah, salmon is not that cheap. Um, 59 yen, I do, like, the conversion isn't straight over, but, like, 59 yen is fairly close to the equivalent of 59 cents. It's not, but it is. I think that's just an easy way for you to do a conversion to get a general idea, but, of course, like, the higher the yen gets, the bigger the difference is, but you get the idea. And while you're at it, how about some cheese? Direct from Italy and just 298 yen. And see, like, cheese, 298 versus 59 yen for salmon? Fish is expensive where I live, is what I'm getting at. Restock this shelf, too. Oh, well, apparently I'm his errand boy. You earn 5,500 yen working at Juness. Juness Food Court. You came with Yosuke after work. <sighs> I'm dead tired. They decided on the cell at the last minute. And Dad was bugging me to find helpers. I told him I didn't have time for that, but he wasn't listening. Thanks, man. But hey, I'm glad you were there. Thanks. Um, Sure, no problem. It wasn't fun, <laughs> so I'm not going to say that. You really are a good guy. Yosuke is happy. Oh, Hanamura! What's with the crowd today? It's way busy. If I'd known, I would've skipped out. Please don't. We got a bonus for today, right? Yeah, a whole 500 yen. I'm trying to save up. Give me a raise. Well, I don't think I can help you there. What's the point then? The two began talking nearby. They're talking very loudly. At this rate, my graduation trip will be somewhere in Japan. Maybe I should ask my parents to pay for it. Why don't you find a guy to pay? Huh, <sighs> like Saki did? Whoa. Dude. Yosuke is biting his lip. Was it during our second year when Saki eloped, I mean? Yep, apparently she got with a college guy who came home and went off with him. But she came right back, saying she'd save money and leave on her own. Huh? You mean she was dumped? Who knows? She started working here to save money, didn't she? You know us high school girls can make easy money if we really want to. The pair's gossiping continues. They're also awful. <sighs> it doesn't matter. It's just hot air. I'm not letting it get to me. It's sad to be talked about like that, though. We're the only ones who can avenge Saki Senpai. We're special. We're the only ones. So there's no need to bother with outsiders. You're right. <laughs> Yosuke is smiling sheepishly. I think it's good you came along. Because of you, I was able to make it this far. Yosuke is nodding firmly. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown deeper. The Yosuke Hanamura Social Link has reached level 6. Ooh. And Sukukaja is the hit and evasion rate, right? Yeah. Hmm. I could take Garu. 
He's not very useful with Dia anymore. I also never use this. I think I'm gonna do Dia though. <sighs> what a pain. Oh, uh, not you. I wonder what it is. I don't know. You spent time talking with Yosuke. You're back. Okay. And we're going to hang out with Dojima tonight, I think. Do I have a hero font? No, I do not. quickly. Whoops, I'm going to do this. I have two magicians. That's the only one I've got a double of. So I could do a mix of these two. Mostly I'm just seeing if I could uh, combine a magician and a fool. Because fool is useless to us and we have double magician. Genbu. That would be the ideal one, but we don't have the levels for it. Okay, I'm just gonna get a hero font from the compendium. All right, back home. And we're actually gonna do Dojima's social link next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for being here. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you all next time.